So I'm here at the conference and I'm talking to Stara Pressi about her presentation. That's the award-winning presentation of the poster session on Parkinson's 12, uh, 2012 conference. Over to you, Sarah. Hi. Um, for my project, I'm trying to understand uh, pathological progression in Parkinson's disease. And we're trying to gain new insights into how this happens. So we're actually studying post-mortem brains and we're trying to um, understand how the pathology forms in these brains. So we're using a technique called proteomics and we're using machines called mass spectrometers mm. to find proteins in post-mortem brains and trying to see if there's different patterns in Parkinson's disease brains compared to controls. So we're trying to understand the pathological progression so we are comparing brain regions where there's a lot of pathology in the brain, like the substantia nigra, to brain regions where there's not so much pathology, like cortical regions. Using proteomics, we can detect about 500 proteins per brain region, and then we can compare proteins found in Parkinson's disease compared to controls. Um, so basically we're at the stage where we've done a study comparing three different brain regions, and we're looking at uh, proteins that we found to see if they're to see how they're changing in different brain regions, and now we're at the stage of trying to validate our results using a different method to confirm whether these changes are actually real or not. Nice. And do you think this same method can be used uh, for to detect pathological progression in other diseases, like typically Alzheimer's? I'm thinking of another. Neurogenerative uh, diseases. Yes, I think it's a very powerful technique and hopefully can be used um, for, for many different diseases. Hopefully, we'll show that this is very fruitful and, and we can apply it to other diseases. Thank you very much, Sarah. Thank you.